Hello everyone, welcome to another short review. Today is going to focus on a billable figure set. Uh, this is set number 75532. It's called the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike, and it retailed for $54.99 in the United States. So it is a little expensive. Uh, most of the billable figure sets retail for about $25 to $30. Bucks. At least some of the bigger ones like uh, Vader and Grievous retailed for about $30 to $35. Dollars. This is the largest billable figure set to date. It is also the only one with a vehicle. And it came out in the summer of 2017 alongside the Stormtrooper Commander, which I do plan to buy soon. So before we, uh, actually, yeah, we're going to take a look at it. Um, I, let's, let's see. Why don't we start with the, um, I guess we should start with the, uh, the speeder bike, actually. Well, I guess we may as well just start with the scout trooper. I mean, just get him over with. I um, mean, he's not a bad figure, I'm just saying. You probably want to see the speeder bike the most. Um, but here's the scout trooper the imperial biker scout here uh my apologies if you can't see him entirely uh just because these these things are really tall so he's a standard billable figure um like in terms of movement he can move all around his head has a ball joint pretty much everywhere has a ball joint so he can move his legs his lower um you know, lower legs his feet his arms his wrists and his upper arms so a lot of his movement is really just ball joints but of course, this is made to be the uh, Biker Scout from Return of the Jedi. And he has a lot of really cool pieces. Like on the back here, um, I really like this detail. This is like another shoulder piece, but it's upside down kind of. And it's made into this like this backpack bill, which looks really good. And this is covering the back as well. This is actually the Hero Factory torso piece um, in white. And it's just used to cover the back of him, which is cool. And uh, so a lot of these pieces are really cool. Like a lot of these pouches here are just like brick built. And are just kind of attached in cool ways. And they just kind of fold over. These ones fold over his torso. These ones are on his hips. And I really like these pieces here. These like kind of pentagon looking pieces. Those are cool. Those are like armor kind of gauntlets, I think. And this is really cool. There's also some more on the bottom here. His color scheme is very kind of boring. It's really just white and black color scheme. But that's fine because that's how they were in the movie. Um, there's really only two unique pieces to him. Um, the rest of it is just like detail. Let um, see if I can get this to focus. Let me actually take this off of here so you can see him better. So here is the buildable figure chest plate. That is exclusive to this set uh, because it's the Scout Trooper's torso. And it's got all this great printing showing the different folds in the fabric and the belt down here. And just the different armoring. It looks fantastic. Of course, it's a standard buildable figure torso, like piece. It's just like the standard one that they've been using since 2015. But this time it's just unique to him because of the color and the printing. But the most unique piece, of course, is the helmet. The helmet is the best part. And it is fantastic. The helmet is just amazing. It's just so great. It is perfect. It looks exactly like the Biker Scouts in the film. And there, there's just so much detail here that it's quite uh, impressive. It's just how much like details that they put into this one piece. It just makes it look like a replica. Kind of like how Jang said in his review of this. Where it was just like a replica piece. Like this one piece... It's probably worth the whole set. Like, it's just just to have that, it's just really cool. And, you know, combine that with the um, the iconicity of the Scout Trooper himself, it's just really cool. Um, there is one feature to the Scout Trooper. I guess the one of the one action feature here. And it's the fact that he does have a gun on his ankle right here. Kind of see it there. It's a little bit disguised, but basically it it um it attaches onto his ankle right there. And if you want, you can take the gun. And here's the gun, by the way. It's a really nice piece, and it is pretty small, 
but that's how the guns were in the film. They have very small guns because they're just scouts, uh, because they have the bikes to zoom around on. And it's a really cool build. And if you want, you can stick the gun in his hand. And there you go, that's what that looks like. And if you want to see what he looks like with the holding gun, you can make him hold it just like in the, um, in the movies, which is just great. Uh, aside from that, he doesn't have anything else, like, feature-wise. He's just, you know, he's a billable figure. You can move him around and, you know, pose him around. It's quite easy. Uh, sorry for the noise. It's a little bit noisy. But I love this guy. This is one of the best, like, translated figures in the buildable figures line. I feel like this one especially worked really well. Um, and I think it was really genius of them to include the, the bike as well. Because, like, without the bike... Um, it's just kind of like a standard, like, buildable figure set, but, like, with the bike, it adds another $30 onto, or $35, I should say, uh, to the set. That's why it's so much, because it has the bike as well. Speaking of the bike, I think we should look at that next. I think we got enough of the Scout Trooper here. And let's move him aside for now. Just move him in the back there. Now, here's the speeder bike. This is the main thing you're paying for. This is the behemoth of a vehicle. Unfortunately, this is the only vehicle in the Billable Figures line. They were gonna make the, I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys are aware, but they were gonna make a clone trooper, like a 501st clone with a ATRT walker. Unfortunately, that never. Uh, it, they were gonna release it, but it just never came out. The same with the Super Battle Droid. They were gonna do that as well. I think those are probably going to be the last two ones, but no, they didn't end up doing that, unfortunately. But, so this is the only one with the vehicle, but that's why it's unique. So aside from General Grievous and Darth Vader, this is the biggest one. So this is definitely the biggest set of the line. So if you want the best set, either get this one or General Grievous. It's one of the two, or you can get Vader as well. Um, there's some other great ones, like Boba Fett, of course, and it's just some other ones. But really, it's those ones you want to, like, maybe want to get, um, you know, in terms of the best billable figures. So, this, of course, has a very Technic look. That's because most of it is just Technic pieces. Um, but there's a number of different features. And one of them, of course, is the ability to put the Scout Trooper on the speeder bike, which I will do in a little bit. But I wanted to point out all the stickers on this model. Uh, because the, uh, the Scout Trooper has no stickers because it is a buildable figure, so there's only printed pieces on him. But in terms of the bike, there are some stickers, such as these on the back. You can kind of see them. There we go. And I can really see them. These are the speed flaps that the bike uses. If we lift those up, it reveals, um, I guess, propulsion engine kind of thrust there, which is really cool looking. You can, of course, angle these however you like, and that's really nice. Uh, there is a main sticker on the top of the bike here, which shows the control panel. Sorry for the dust, uh, my apologies for that. But that's my favorite piece of the whole set, is just this one sticker. It just looks really detailed. And that shows the main controls. There are two stickers here. One of them is this on this side. The other one is the same thing. And there are two more stickers on the very front forks. If I can get those to focus to you. There's one sticker. And there is the other. So, that's all the stickers in the set. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven stickers in all on the bike, which is cool. A nice addition. It's not too many. It's not too little. Works. And there is, uh, let's see, there are, I guess, two features to this. Um, one of them, this stand. Now, unfortunately, the stand is connected permanently to the bike. It's, it's built all the way inside here. So you're not gonna be able to disconnect the stand easily until, unless you take off some pieces. But there is a feature with this. So when you have the, the Biker Scout on there, it's actually better. But what you wanna do is take this, this whole stand is meant to make the speeder bike look like it's floating in the air, which of course it, it would be in universe, but obviously Lego pieces don't float naturally. So they just made it black to make it look like a display. And it's at this slight upward angle, which is really cool. But what you want to do is take your hand and put it under the stand. So now, 
your hand should be rested underneath the gun and underneath the bike. And there is one feature here. You'll notice this gun, and this gun looks excellent. It's super, super accurate to the movie. And it actually has a trigger. So it's a built-in trigger. So when you're flying this around and you have the biker scout on there, you can actually shoot this like it's a gun. So I'm going to demonstrate. There's a spring-loaded shooter all the way inside here. And what you want to do is press this trigger. There's a trigger right here. What you want to do, aim it at whatever you're shooting at. And boom. There you go. It's shot out. And I have lost that off camera. But actually, they do give you another one if I flip it over. There is actually a secret spot for um, another bolt. So if you lose that first one, you got a second one there. And I just love the detail. That's really all the features. You can, you know, there's the speed flaps and the gun, and you can put the scout on top of it. That's really all it will do. It doesn't have too many features, but I appreciate the features where they are included because it's really cool. I love all the details. Like, I love this detail here. This engine intake, it looks really great. And I just love the tubing. I think my favorite part of this whole thing, besides the sticker, is the tubes that run all the way uh, through the bike. So they've got the engine part here. You can see the different components on the bottom. And we got a couple more tubes on this side, which look great. And, oh, I just love this model so much. I'm so glad I bought it. And I did pay full price. <laughs> which is a little bit expensive, but I, I do not regret it. On the top of the bike, we've got a folded tarp, which is pretty cool, just some technic parts, but they look great. There's also the seat, of course, on the bike. And um, we got the, um, the foot pedals here, which can move. And we also have the controls up here, which can move as well. Those don't actually, like only the top parts move, not the bottom ones, they're just kind of fixed. I love these front fork sections. Those look excellent. They're basically just ship masts. And we've got this piece here, which especially looks good with the um, curved armor panel. So I think to close out, we might as well put the Scout Trooper on the bike. I mean, why not? And let me just get him ready. It's going to be a little bit here just because I got to get him ready into his, uh, his seating position here. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, everything, everywhere you see pins, so the, these two pins here, and then those two pins on the bottom, those are what lock him in place. So he's very secure when he's on the bike. So there's one. Uh, see, awkwardly falls. And let's see if I can get him on here. It's a little bit fiddly, just a little bit, because you got to, like, work with him. But it should work. It's um, it's pretty straightforward. You just got to attach his his um, his uh, limbs to here, just to make it easier for him to go on the bike. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me kind of put him back here so you can see him. And there we go. I think that's pretty good. It's gonna be a little hard to uh, do this. There we go. So that's what the Scout Trooper looks like when he's on the bike. It is a little fiddly, like I said, but you can get it, you can work with it, make him, you know, ride it. And it's especially fun when you have him, when you have the stand and you're flying it around, you can zoom it around. Um, but yeah, that is essentially the set. Um, there's something else that it will do other than the shooter and the, um, the speed flaps and the, you know, putting the biker scout on there. Or something else that it will do. It's just kind of like, that's it um, in terms of features. But I would definitely recommend the set, all in all, overall. This is probably one of, this is the most expensive billable figure next to General Grievous. But it's one of the ones that you should probably buy if you're a fan of Return of the Jedi, if you're a fan of Biker Scouts, if you love the speeder bikes, if you love that chase scene. If you're a fan of the billable figures and you just want one or two, this is definitely one of the ones you want to buy, just because it is just magnificent. It's a, I give it a 10 out of 10. It deserves it, because it is that good. Um, it's one of the best ones in the series. It's a shame we never got any more vehicles. But that's really all I have to say on this set. Um, I tried to make it as short as I could. So I thank you very much for watching. There will be more videos on this set as well. And until then, 
Thank you very much for watching this. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments below, and I will see you later. Take care, and more buildable figure stuff coming as well, and I will see you then. Have an amazing rest of your day, and please let me know what you think, all your thoughts on this set, and um, I will see you in the next review. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.